For General Flynn, it was the beginning of a twisted journey forced upon him by political opponents and professional rivals and ending only last week with a presidential pardon. For America, those leaks are the centerpiece of one of the most remarkable crime sprees in our history. Classified information leaked serially to prestige press organizations for the purpose of prosecuting a campaign of political warfare against a sitting president. Reporters rarely, if ever, actually saw the classified documents. They relied on badly spun accounts of the documents fed to them by a circle of intelligence leakers. The classified information was used to advance the narrative that Trump had been compromised by Russian spies. U.S. officials knew not only that they were breaking the law, they also knew they were marketing a lie, and they knew where it originated. According to notes taken by former CIA director John Brennan, he briefed then-President Barack Obama in late July 2016 that the Hillary Clinton campaign had approved a plan to, quote, vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal, claiming interference by Russian security services, end quote. Knowing the purpose and provenance of the story, Brennan nonetheless pushed it to senior U.S. officials as fact. He briefed then Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid on information drawn from the notorious dossier paid by the Clinton campaign. Brennan also took it to the FBI. He said that he shared that information regarding Trump aides and Russian officials with the Bureau so that they could take it. In sworn testimony before Congress in May 2017, the former CIA director said the information he gave to federal law enforcement serves as the basis for the FBI investigation. It was to lend more color and weight to the Russia smear targeting Trump that government officials leaked classified information like the Flynn intercept. None have ever been charged. The press itself was honored. The Washington Post and New York Times were awarded a joint Pulitzer Prize for their numerous stories sourced to classified information leaked to advance a fraudulent narrative. Because of its part in pushing Russiagate, American intelligence services and law enforcement authorities are regarded with skepticism, if not contempt, by half of the U.S. public. Programs like Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act warrants, confidential human sources and classified intelligence designed to keep citizens safe from terrorism, organized crime and adversarial states were turned against Americans who were simply practicing their right to participate in our political process. And thus the crossfire crossfire hurricane investigation marks a new, even transitional moment in our history. I lived in and reported from the Middle East for more than a decade, and the shape of the FBI and media's joint operation is unmistakable. It signals the marriage of the Ministry of the Interior, responsible for domestic spying, to the Ministry of Information, responsible for manufacturing propaganda. In a combined effort to destroy anyone it perceives as an opponent, with Crossfire Hurricane, major American institutions, the press, and our intelligence community have adopted the practices and ethos of the third world. 